With your insatiable appetite, you've almost certainly sealed your own fate. In other words, you're going to eat yourself into oblivion. <laughs> oh, I like this. I'll change my ways, I swear. And with that, Seven User found himself back in his recording studio. With a new lease on life, Scrooge was invigorated. He leapt up from his chair and grabbed his phone. Hey Siri, what day is it? Why, Seven User? It's Christmas Day. Then there's still time. Scrooge hurried from his home and ran into a local restaurant to order the biggest bag of burgers they had. As he waited for his order to be filled, he pulled out his phone yet again and called his friend Kevin. Hello? Kevin? Hey, it's Ebenezer. I'm going to be coming to that party after all. I just need to make one stop first. All right, man. See you soon. After leaving a generous tip, Scrooge ran out from the restaurant and hurried down the street. As he crossed paths with the beggar and dog he had run away from earlier, he paused. This time they were asleep. But Sebenezer left them each a cheeseburger before running off again. Soon, he arrived at the Dratchet family home, where he stopped and took a breath before knocking on the front door. Sebenezer, what are you doing here? Dratchet, I've realized I haven't been treating you very well. You know, I saw some ghosts and your kid is super skinny and I think I upset my cousin. Long story short, my cholesterol is too high. You saw ghosts? Never mind that. Dratchet, I've got a Christmas gift for you. Is it that greasy bag of burgers? Well, no. Well, yes. Well, this is for everyone. The real gift I got you is that I'm making you a full partner in the podcast. We'll split all the profits from merchandise, and I'll even let you talk on the mic sometimes. Dick Ann's be damned. Why, Mr. Scrooge, I I just don't know what to say. Don't worry about it. It'll just be a conversation, but with microphones. Yeah, that's not really what I meant. Hey, Tim, come look what Scrooge brought us. Burgers! Wow, Sebenezer! Thank you, and Merry Christmas! That's right, Timmy. Merry Christmas to you, too. And God bless us all. All right, Dratchet, your kid gives me the creeps, and I've got a party to go to, so I'm gonna get out of here. But next Wednesday, what say you and me get lunch? But what should we get? Eh, let's get a burger. that's it for our holiday special hope you enjoyed uh matt and i would like to thank Derek white kevin agostino nick drapo dane mccarthy seba may christopher curtis alex rock sailora kavita saini and matthew fiorentino for lending their voice talents to this project uh we'll be back with more kiddo and janko wednesdays at lunch in 2017 you can hear us every wednesday around lunchtime when we'll be talking about another burger. Uh, until then, happy holidays. And if you like this podcast, share it on Facebook, Twitter, uh, Tumblr, Blogger. Is that something? Just tell your mom about it. Play it during Christmas dinner. Put it in a bottle and send it out to sea on a USB It is Sebenezer, right? I'm guessing. I yeah, know. exactly. <laughs> You're the Scrooge of the. Exactly, whole thing. exactly. It's kind of odd. Tito, Tito, being the radio guy, probably is a little more used to this. Oh yeah. So he's a performer, at heart. Yeah. Exactly. Burgers! Wow, Sebenezer! Thank you! Thank you! So- <laughs> Ever since Jacob's death. Dratchet has been the show intern with the thankless task of listening to oh, ugh. As clearly I read aloud a lot. Sebenezer, you son of a bitch. <laughs>